Psalms 103 Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. It is important to have an attitude of gratitude, and an eagerness to praise God, because of the times he has always shown and proven his faithfulness. God is the God above all. He created the heavens, the earth, the universe. And he still knows you by name. Isn't that amazing? One of the problems with the modern Christian is his ingratitude. Whenever something inconvenient happens to him or something bad, he quit, he's quick to pray. Oh, Jesus, please help me. Oh, please, 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 make this my way. Give me what I want. Please, 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 please. And then if God decides to bless him, do you take time to thank him? Don't just pray to God when you need something. And do not forget to thank Him for the blessings that He has given you. If, if you stop and think for a millisecond about the blessings He's given you, I'm sure you would be staggered. God pours out His blessings on us. Show gratitude. Show gratitude. Why wouldn't you? But that's the failure of so many Christians. It's just like when Jesus healed those men, and only one of them came back to thank him. Be that one that thanks him. Don't be the others that just run away after they got their blessing. Christ is not a genie, and he's not a miracle ATM. Show respect and show gratitude. That is something we have to remind Christendom. Show respect to the emperor. Now pray this with me. Dear God, no one can compare to your greatness. There is no one, not a single being in the universe, that can try to stand up to you. I pray that all the earth will come to the knowledge of your greatness, O God, and that we will all come to worship you and give you the praise that is truly due to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.